Welcome, welcome to Chess Business TV. Not an episode. This is definitely not an episode. We're playing Atomic Chess just for fun. Um, and there's probably going to be very little commentary here. We're just going to play some Atomic. In Atomic Chess, when you capture something, your capturing piece blows up. So this is actually a good move in Atomic. I hope you're interested in LTC. White resigned. Oh, he's gone. So I have no opponent right now. So I'll click new opponent and we will wait for that. Meanwhile, I'm going to try to get the music I'm listening to. Some really good music through the stream here so you guys can hear it. Otherwise, we're not going to be on the same page very well here. What if I move my headphones to this? Playback devices. Playback devices. Let me open up the chat. See what people are saying. <laughs> Well, now you can hear the music. It's super loud. Um, okay. I want to hear that too, though. So let's work on putting this back in here. Well, that's not good. Now I can hear it and you can't. Well, that's just very disappointing right now. Hello, Tanan123. Uh, I'm trying to make my music work and my chess at the same time. I'm putting a challenge for Atomic if you want to play Atomic Chess. See what I'm requiring here. Yeah, you don't have to be very good. Just fourteen fifty. That's it's medium, I think. Then you can play it. It's actually pretty good. You do have to you do have to practice quite a bit to become fourteen fifty. Just most people have practiced quite a bit who are on the internet. That's my choice. So I don't understand this. Oh, there's people watching right now. Well, hello guys. Let's win some atomic chess. Hi, GLHF. Hello. Okay. So yeah, the music's not working at all, but the chess is just getting off the ground. We are taking some space here in Atomic Chess. Now, the most, most dangerous spot in Atomic is right here, so you really have to watch that. But I love this, I love this big opening uh, because you just kind of get a lot of control. And I think what I want to do is just push here. It's really risky. If you play this, you can play this and then this. It's uh, very dangerous and I don't like danger. No, no, not at all. I kind of like h4 though because then I can play e5 and start taking even more space. Um, in this position, I will play h3 and now I can't play h4. That's annoying. Let's see what happens next here. I'm also working on the music at the same time, uh, which is not happening. It's either I hear it or you hear it, and that's not okay. We need to both hear it, guys. That's a requirement. Uh, is there a button for, like, fix mode? It's like the thing you click, and it fixes fixes your life. That'd be good. See, that this is pretty weak. I'm liking that I have a lot of space here. So now, if I play this, he can check me. So let's play g3, and then I can play e5 and have epic space. The other thing I could do is bishop here, right? You know, he blocks me, but he can't capture without blowing up his own knight. The thing is, after my bishop's here, he can play his knight down, and then if I take it, I blow up my own bishop. So you actually may not want to develop your pieces. That's why I've moved like five, six pawn moves here and nothing else. That's just the way life goes. Let's play b4, take a lot of pawn space. There's no law against that, I think. What if I use the desktop app for Spotify? That might work, right? Let's try that. What part of this is groovy besides the fact that I'm high? I'm trying to get you groovy music. It's music in progress here. Um, and I don't hear it. So that's too bad. Maybe there's a thing for mixer. What about this check though? Check. Uh, he takes this blowing on my bishop. Maybe not great. Uh, what about here? <laughs> that's kind of a weird move. I'm working on the groovy. You're going to have to give me some time. Not literally, though, because I'm such a fast player. I don't need time. Uh, let's try... Let's try c3. Because if I were to capture, I don't want queen a5 to cause me any problems. Okay, so now we've got this awesome check. Teen Ann, one, two, three, going to eat the pain right here. This is going to be painful, and that's for you, painful. Boom! To your king. So in Atomic, when you capture something, everything around it blows up. That would be why his king just blew up. But if we play again, I'll win again. So that sounds pretty good. It's definitely sad about the music. I cannot hear it. You cannot hear it. Let's try putting this into the computer. Over here. Can you hear it now? No. 
I can hear myself. That's good. Send him some numbers here. You too. That looks good. Okay. Um, playback. Is there like a playback devices thing? Let's see. Sounds. Volume mixer. Ooh, that sounds good. Let's mix some volume here. E4. Interesting move. I'll play E6. Always a good idea. E6. I play it in every variant. Even anti-chess. Play it in every variant. Uh, volume mixer. Where'd my volume mixer go? I want to mix some volume here. Sounds. Oh, there's a sounds button. Nope, that's not Windows. That is Windows. I hate Windows. Um, open sound settings. That's even worse. Never open the sound settings on Windows 10. That's my advice to you. What if I play Knight H6 here? Hmm. That would be a move. Huh? Looking good. Uh, if he were to play over here, I would play over here, threatening his king, and then he would resign. So that looks good. Another option is to blow him up with this move. Because then when I take, he's dead. Let's do the dead opponent line. That looks good to me. He does have this dangerous check, but thanks to my knight attacking that square, I can doop and he doop and I can doop and he doop and I lose a bunch of stuff. So maybe that's not smart. Uh, what if I were to play C6 right here? Okay, so I take, blowing up his knight. He checks me. I block that. He whoosh over here. Dangerous. He's threatening all that kind of stuff. So I play right here. Then he takes this. Ouch. Ouch. Ooh. So let's play. Let's play this. Uh, there was also that danger. Right? I take his queen comes here. I don't know if that blue line is very straight. It's kind of crooked. Okay, but he's scared. So oh, maybe I'm okay now. He's scared. I don't mind trading a bishop for a pawn. What I do mind is that nobody can hear the music. That's what I mind. Um, it's my turn. I'll do this. <laughs> I'll blow up his king if he doesn't watch closely here. Uh, he'll play b4, then I'll play there, whatever that is, and then he'll have to blow himself up to survive, so that's pretty good. Oh. Let's try that move. I am not dead yet, so that's pretty good. Usually, if I made it to move 15 and I'm not dead, I'm doing pretty well. What's happening in the chat? Oh, there's moves. Knight f3, knight c3, g4 opening in atomic. You like that. Knight f3, f6. I can't follow all those letters. I'll just go over here, see how this goes. So I can move my queen like that. Would that be smart? Interesting. Ah, this stream is not so good without the music. Oh, I can now do it. Turbo mode. Let's try it. Blow me up, man. I've always wanted to be blown up. Let's go here. <laughs> I'm threatening checkmate. In Australia, all you can do is threaten check. Because if it's just checkmate. You know what I mean? You don't know what I mean. Oh no, I lost a rook. Blew him up. So it looks like I've lost like a bishop for a pawn, rook for a knight. Don't even worry. A pawn is worth the same thing as everything in atomic chess. So I'm actually ahead because I have eight things against his six there. And that's for a rook. So I'm winning. Uh, let's get this king rolling. Though, I need to get the king up. Easy move right there. Very obvious. There's some danger on this diagonal, but the power of the mass of pawns is going to reveal itself here as soon as I get my revelation going. There's some danger. Let's blow myself up. Don't need a bishop to win this game. I'm going to put my knight right here, and now I can get my rook in the game. That's why I blew myself up, really. Everyone has a reason. And my reason is... I forgot it already. Let's try this move. No, don't do it. Try this move. Okay, I moved. I moved. It's his turn. Yes. Yes. Okay. He castles. What a castle. Let's go here. Uh, he moved a thing. Let's move a thing. This is starting to look good. It's constantly his turn. That shows I have the upper hand. Uh, he's moving his stuff. Is running away a good strategy? I don't remember seeing that. Oh uh, no, this is a bad thing. This is bad. <laughs> but I'm not dead yet. 
I'm not dead yet, yo. I can just keep moving around. Hey, would you like a draw, Tinan? It looks very drawish, especially because I'm black, and that's a good time to draw. Come on. Oh, no, I'm in check. Oh, I'm not in check. Oh, I'm in check. I'm not in check. Okay, now I just have to survive with a brilliant move. I want to trade rooks. He does. Okay, so now it's a draw. I'll offer him a draw. If he doesn't take the draw, I will win with my six pawns. So let's go with draw. I can't take that rook. Ah, he offers a draw. Good game, Teen Ann. I'll play you again where I'm white. We'll see how that goes. Where's my music? Uh, it finished. I don't hear it. My volume mixer. I got so interested in that. Can't play the current song is what that says right there. Well, then play the next song. Can't play the next song either. Stupid song playing machine. Let's try this. Play. Okay, so that's coming out over there. So what if I were to go into my volume mixer? No. Isn't there a thing that shows you where the sound comes out? Open sound settings. No. Open sounds. There's so many dials in Windows. It's dumb. It's really dumb. No, choose your output device. There it is. Speakers Road Podcaster. Yes, this is a Road Podcaster. So that's exactly what I want. Let's let's listen now. I can hear it. Yes. Okay, so now we need you to hear it. Get ready. Get ready. The pieces are definitely too loud. Okay, I'm gonna work on my balance here, like the volume, so give me a break. Thank you. 
Okay, man. Pretty good song. Pretty good song. That was Midas. It was uh, called, it was a, a thing by Midas. But that explosion sounded so loud. Is there a way to turn down the leech has sounds? Because seriously, oh, there's a mixer. There's a mixer. Hold on. Okay, so browse featured OBS and speakers. Speakers. Um, browse featured. There's all these inputs. System sounds. Which one of these is the thing that does the thing? Oh, life is so complicated. If I move my bishop here, can I just blow up his stuff? And if he like runs away, then I'm like, hi yeah, and then I'm just in his house stealing his stuff. This is good. This is going to be pretty fun. Uh, I'm going to just move something I've already moved because it's the opening. Isn't that how you do the opening? Yeah, maybe. I'm on rock. I've been asked in the chat. He says, you look like you're a good dancer. Is that true? Oh, no. A bishop is attacking a bishop. I think I should do nothing. I'll go over there. I have a plan which involves moving this knight again and again and then blowing up his queen. Let's see how that works. I would not say I'm a good dancer. No, but I appreciate the compliment. Definitely. If he plays me, I will have trouble. Well, I don't care about trouble. I'll just let him blow me up. Look how he can blow up this pawn, destroying a rook and a knight. That's pretty good, right? The only thing better than that is blowing up a king, which he'll do next. So don't give him any time. Just let him run out. It's my only chance, really. Okay, so if I blow up everything, I'll probably win. Huh. Huh. Winning is good. I think I, I think I should win. Yeah, let, let's win. I guess win. You know, I was considering... Oh, that is so loud. Oh, man. I was thinking, like, some other stuff, but then I was like, nah, how about winning? Yeah, let's do that. Okay, here we go. No. Oh, man, there's going to be a big explosion. He's going to blow up this and this and this and this and this all at the same time. Do it, man. Uh-oh. What are you doing? I was going to go checkmate you. Look at this checkmate. Coming right up. <laughs> he should have blown up my cue and he had the chance. Okay, I can't change the explosion sound volume yet. Oh, ow, that is so... Wait, I have, a, I have a mixer. Hold on. I don't know how to use it. System sounds. Does that include chrome? I don't know. GG's again. Yeah, GG's. Oh, hold on, I have a challenger. GG's. Is he rematching? One more. Okay, I have a challenger over here. <gasps> Kazaskovskovov is challenging me, so I'll play him next. E4! It's a fun opening because most people play Knight of 3. Anytime you play an opening someone else doesn't, it's probably worse. Okay, so we're going to play one more game here. We're also going to listen to By My Side by Midas. For those of you who don't know, M-I-T-I-S is a entity that created this music, and I kind of like it, so tell me if you do.
Okay, I just realized two things. First of all, maybe I should have moved my queen where he could take it. That might have been dumb. And then the other thing I noticed is I can turn up the music and down the chessboard, relatively speaking. So why didn't I do that sooner? I'm going to try that. Um, and I think that's going to help a lot with, like, the booms being the loudest thing in the stream. I have an idea for that. So let's see if that works. Um, in the meantime, I'm trying to survive with no time on my clock. And I think I'm just winning this. If I just look how many things I have, it's like, wow, seven pawns against his four. Yep, definitely winning. I just have to not get trapped. So this is looking very good for me. Very good. The rooks need to be very active in an endgame like this. And I, I notice like, like one active rook here. That's a lot more than his like zero. So let's, let's do like this actually. And then castle, get the other rook in. Oh, out of time. Nope, not out of time. He has a problem. If he activates, I blow myself up, blowing up him as well. And he's out of time. Good game, Tanan. GGS, you did win a game, I think, but I'm blocking that from my memory so that I can play this other Kanachkov guy instead. Casual! Never mind. Not going to play him. Thanks. Thank you. That was a lot of fun. Thanks for playing those games. Loving some atomic chess tonight and listening to some music. And I just figured out how to turn down the booms so we can actually enjoy the music. So let's see if this works. See how loud this is. This is Reconnect by Midas and Mahi. That's M-A-H-I. Maybe it's Mahai. I don't know.
That was fantastic. The music was good. Do, 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 do. You can see why I don't sing in the songs. And also this chest is looking really good because look how I'm just going to blow him up. Pretty nice. I'm going to take this and boom, boom, everything's going to blow. And if he moves away, no problem. I'll blow him up anyway. Now what happens though if he then blows me up? Let's just do it. Um, his queen is uh oh, very deadly. Did he take oh his queen? Oh no, his queen. He could check. Oh wait, I can check him. Oh, never mind, guys. Checkmate or something. He's pretty dead. Hey, shout out to uh, who's who's watching right now? Um, shout out to subcentral.net. Um, don't go there probably. It's a username that's watching the stream right now. Let's uh, rematch MPT Lenny. That was an exciting game. Th this is a funny chess position right here in Atomic. You can see this sometimes where it's like bleh, in the center. You generally don't want to be the one to capture because when you capture, you just remove a thing and his thing is removed like this. And then it's his turn. Like you just like did a thing and it's his turn. So let's say white does this, right? Okay, there's no pawn here, no pawn here, and it's black. Now consider that black does this. Okay, there's no pawn here, no pawn, and it's white. You notice it's like it's the same thing, but it's the other guy's turn. So generally speaking, when you got this, you don't want to move. You simply want to, oh, he's left the game. That's very interesting. You simply want to let the other guy do that. So you can see like an atomic game where there's like half the game, there's a blob of pawns in the center that don't capture each other. And then someone gets cancer and the game's over. But that's an interesting middle game, I think. Very interesting. Got a question in the chat. What's your favorite variant? Ah, that's a tough question. Definitely playing atomic chess right now. I love atomic chess because it's hard to lose when you're white. And, uh, that's good since I'm not very good at it. Then there's also Crazy House. I think Crazy House is my favorite. Very, very deep variant. Also, I love Horde Chess. And Anti Chess is also a soft place in my heart because I'm okay at it. The variant that I don't like is Three Checks Chess because I'm bad at it. That's very interesting. The ones I'm good at, I like. The ones I'm bad at... I don't like. So which is causing which is causing which? You know, you could be thinking, oh, okay, so I like that one, so I practice it, so I become good, you know, so liking it makes you good at it. Or maybe you're good at it, therefore you like it. So I play a lot of strategy games. I mean, like I play Settlers of Catan, and then I kill myself, and then I never play that again. I play other board games, a variety of board games um, that you've never heard of, like Puerto Rico, a very, a very excellent classic. And a lot of new games with people, and what I find is that when people win, they like it. They're like, wow, that was a pretty good game. I like that game, even if it's the first time they're playing. And if they lose, they're like, huh, you know, you know, it really comes down to whether they won the game or not. So I would have to say that because I'm good at Atomic, relatively speaking, and Crazy House and, and somewhat anti-chess, that's why I like those variants. Not because they're actually better variants. It's just, sorry, I can't escape the humanity of humanity. And that's just the way humanity works. You like what you're good at. Catan is sweet. No, it's not. Settlers of Catan is awful because everyone who I play with is like, if, as long as Chesswiz doesn't win, then I will, I will be okay. But if he wins, if here, here's some free wheat. I'll give you two sheep if you will take them for free. And also I'll give you my next sheep. You know, they, they're just happy to do anything, but let me, if I'm about to win, it's like, okay, everybody team up. And then that's kind of frustrating. So we're going to play Coasty instead. Also, we're going to listen to another song by Midas. I've got like Midas Station on here. So if you never heard Midas before, now you have.
Okay, pretty good opportunity there to blow up his entire army. That would have been fun. Definitely would have been fun to blow up everything, but I think I'll just win instead. It would be pretty scary if I did that and then his pawn promoted into a queen and checkmated me. That'd be bad. So instead, let's just win. Leave the fancy stuff for another player. Winning is better. GG Coasty. I've done a lot of winning. I think it's because my opponents have smaller numbers over here. If you, ever, if you ever look like up here, the best way to tell if you're gonna win is just look at that number there, one, eight, four, seven. Like compare that to whatever's behind my face here. Oh, it's small. Mm, I think I'll win. That's generally how you can tell. The other way is, oh look, I've got the black pieces. Guess I'll lose. That was a pretty good song. I'm thinking of changing the artist though. You've heard what Midas sounds like. Let's change it up a little bit. I do enjoy me a good Zed song. I wanna listen to um, Spec. Spec, uh, spec, spec something by Zed. That would be a great song. I think it's called Spectrum. Let's do it. You're going to love this song. Oh, it's my turn. Okay, we'll also play chess. Enjoy. Spectrum by Zed.
Well, did you like that song? If you didn't like it, you're not going to like the next one. I didn't like that game. I mean, somehow his knight did a thing. See how his knight was like, dude, 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 checkmate. That was annoying. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, and I needed to. So that knight basically cost me a problem. I shouldn't have let it do the thing it did. I needed to keep it. You know, if you've got more pieces than the other guy in an area of the board, you might be more powerful in that area. And that's exactly what happened here. This area, like next to my king, he had more pieces there. That must be how he got more powerful there. Okay, okay. I think we have time for zero more games. Let's see if we're going to get a challenge. I want to listen to one more song. Oh, it's going to be such a good song. What is the best song? Okay, so I have a new favorite song right now. And most people probably would think that is a weird sounding bad song. And so that's probably you. We'll think that. But just in case you don't, listen to this. This is Clock Vice Remix of Free Fall, okay? Tell me, you make, make sure you're wearing headphones and you have stereo sound on so you can hear the left and right channels. If you're watching this on YouTube and it's like, it's not stereo, then go look it up. Free Fall, Clock Vice Remix. Check out this song. Tell, you, tell me if it's not the most creative thing you've ever heard. Or, or the dumbest one of those. Freefall Clockwise Remix by Alf and Christina Soto. Christina Soto. AU5. I don't know if it's like Aus because of Ma Dead Mouse or just like Al5. I don't know. But here's the song. Filled with hope and disbelief How could something so broken Take us up beyond the reach of gravity Ooh. Ooh. Every second building up until we come back
Well, not everyone would like that song, but I, I did. When I first heard it, I was floored because it was unique. It was definitely unique. We're playing a Horde game here because the Atomic ran out. Horde is where one side has all the pawns, as you can see, and I was really feeling overwhelmed on the first half of the game. But in this second half, I'm starting to look a lot better, and by that, I mean feel a lot better. Because check out this tactic right here. I take this pawn, he's like, boop, 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 and then I get into the corner here with my thing. I am looking forward to that trick. Looking forward to that. Let's see if it works. He's not going to fall for it, of course, but at least I picked up a pawn. So how do we win this now? How do we finish off the guy? I think this way. I think we go here. So one option is to uh, lose the rook, capture back like this. I'm doing it. I'm doing it because it really, really tears him up. I mean, he's just torn up like a paper. And that's that's pretty good. See how these guys... Oh, 21 seconds for the game. There's no increment. Move quickly, young chess whiz. Or should I say old chess whiz? Got to stop these pawns over here. They are the most critical pawns. Oh, no. Oh, no. I don't think I'm stopping them. Uh... This square. <laughs> Is this going to work? Uh, probably not. Let's see how it goes. Nope, I'm dead. I'm dead. I had a win, and then I had a loss, and then I got my loss. Well, at least I lost. At least I lost. It is better to lose than never to have played. I hope you enjoyed this little non-episode. I will see you guys back soon for the live show that involves... Um, Crazy House Chess. It's going to be so great. You can go to the website, chesswiz.tv, and find out exactly when that's going to broadcast live. By the way, in case you don't want to go there, it's Sunday at 11 a.m. EST in a little while. So thank you so much for joining us. I hope you enjoyed the tunes. I hope you enjoyed the chess. I do not want a rematch, but I do want to bid you farewell and good luck in your life. This has not been Chess with TV. Thanks for watching.